Hey, Vernon, good morning. Um, kind of a two-part question. Clearly, it was a challenging year for everybody, especially the rookies, given the, you know, short amount of time between getting drafted and joining the team. How would you assess how things went for you this season? And then um, how much confidence has that Brooklyn game given you, at least moving forward, showing that, yes, I can, you know, do these things and play in this league? Um, can you repeat the first uh, question? Just how would you assess the first or your first NBA season, especially given all the, the weird circumstances? I know you went down to the bubble for briefly, and then you obviously had the breakout performance in Brooklyn. How much confidence has that given you moving forward? Um, yeah, I mean, for us, like rookies, I feel like the season has been uh, pretty tough just being able to not us. I mean, for once, uh, not us having this uh, summer league experience. I feel like that was like um, one thing and just go going straight into training camp and then Having games two weeks later, I feel like that was just an eye opener, and just yeah, things like that. And with the uh, game in Brooklyn, I feel like um, I mean, my I feel like it definitely helped my confidence and me heading into the summer and summer league coming up. Uh, this upcoming uh, summer definitely uh, helped me out. Thank you, Vernon. Rick. Vern, it was obviously an interesting season for you in that, you know, you weren't playing, you went to the G League bubble, you came back, eventually you got a, a significant taste for a couple of games. With that sample, what specifically do you think you need to work on this summer in order to have a shot at regular playing time next season? Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel like probably um, just – uh, getting stronger, probably. Uh, I feel like that's a, a big key for me, just being able to like battle down low with uh, other other centers from other teams and stuff like that. I feel like uh, just getting stronger. That's uh, one big key for me heading into the summer. Um, so often in the past, I've heard NBA players talk about how there isn't a whole lot about offense in the NBA that seems particularly forward for foreign to them. Mm -hmm defenses because of all the exotic things that have to, you know, that, that have to go on to deal with, with special scores. Mm -hmm. How do you think you processed all that? Cause I know they must've thrown a ton at you um, defensively. Yeah. Um, I feel like that was like one of the biggest um, challenges for me uh, this, uh, this past year, just being able to learn all the different defenses for like guarding different players, just like Dane, like for like Damian Lillard, different for staff, different for other, like, other uh, good players in this league. So um, it was definitely one, one big challenge for me, one of the biggest challenges for me. Rod? Hey, uh, Vern, can you explain, I guess, the kind of ebbs and flows of the season for you this I think uh, you're mute. You're mute. Uh, you're mute. Uh, you're oh, sorry, mute. man. My bad. Sorry, Vern. Can you explain what's it been like to the ebbs and flows of the season for you so far? I mean, to go from not playing to playing, what's it been like as a rookie kind of just having to learn everything on the fly and just not sure if you're going to play or not? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, it was definitely hard just to learn, like, just like I said, just um, coming into the league and having to learn different stuff uh, from college to now. Um, I feel like that was just one of the biggest challenges for me. And, um, and from playing and not, to not playing, I feel like just just staying ready. I mean, it's part of your job. Um, being a professional, that's, I mean, just staying ready whenever the moment's for you. So um, I feel like that was, that's just how it is for my uh, being a professional. When you um, look at your game, uh, how it came from college now to, to the pros, what have the coaches told you about what they want to see you do this off season to be able to kind of to get to that next level as you want to kind of get to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just like be getting a little stronger, um, get, getting a little bit better shape, um, and just being able to shoot, just, just shooting the ball better. I probably that's probably like three three main keys for me. And just lastly, you mentioned summer league. They announced summer league is going to obviously happen, uh, you know, in August. Mm -hmm. you plan to participate, and how much do you think that will help benefit you as we go toward next season? Um, definitely, pr probably planning to uh, participate in, um, it definitely helped me, um, I feel like it'll definitely, uh, help me moving forward 
um, just being able to get live reps before we head into training camp. So, yeah. We'll close it out with Will. Vern, uh, JB has been very candid about how much they need to improve on the front line, especially at the center position. How much does a those comments like that kind of motivate you to be part of that solution, being a young player on this team? I um, mean, definitely it motivates me just because, um, I mean, it's just, just a, I feel like just a chance for me to prove myself and um, being able to start, uh, start actually uh, being in the rotation and get minutes and earn, earn minutes. So I feel like it'll definitely help me.